now we're headed to Bakersfield. And this is California. Let me unplug this. This is heading away from San Bernardino. And we just had a traumatic experience at the gas pump. Oh, long. 375 a gallon. They don't take credit cards. They charge you 35 cents to use a debit card. They love your cash and in California. Pump, the gas pump has got to be oh. special gas nozzles. Yeah, the gas pump has special gas nozzles. You can't hardly put a gas in your car. Yeah, these old Fords, they don't like them. So we couldn't even actually fill up, fill up. And we got about 220 miles to go till we get to the campground and hoping they'll fit us in there tonight. We've got reservations for tomorrow night. And the next night. And yeah, now these mountains look. Oh gosh. <laughs> anyway, Doug was razzle frazzle. He was throwing the F-bomb out at that little gas station. So we had to get out of there quick. We made our exit and off we went. So here's a shot of California. Wow. As we see it from, what are we on, Highway 58? Or, or we're doing the swing around to get on 50, yeah, I guess it is 58. Going to, this goes into Bakersfield. So we're gonna stop and see Dwight Yoakum, see how he's doing. Talk to him a little bit. Maybe he'll let us stay tonight. And then we'll be moving on. There's the Mojave River. So we're still in, oh, look at that big river. Oh, wow. It's mighty sandy. Don't tell me that whole basin would fill up with water for a river. So there's not a drop of water. So I don't know when they'll get rain, maybe next year. But we're still in, this whole entire area is Mojave Desert. But yesterday we drove mainly through the preserve. I don't know why they would want to preserve it. There must be some kind of nuclear missile sites buried underneath that place that's important to us. I don't know why in the world they'd want to preserve it. But no, it's worthless. That's what it's Hell's Capital City. That's what it looks like. And, um, well, maybe there's some mineral resource. I don't know. Salt? <laughs> Who knows? And we went in the Walmart to get some supplies. And they're so friendly here. We went through the entire store. We looked through almost every department, and only one person spoke a word to us. And believe it or not, it was the guy in the sporting thing where... You know, normally they would be selling guns and fishing licenses, but he was shining up glass or something. And, Good morning. How are you people? He was the only one. They have people everywhere and people just walk by. It is weird. That's what we told those people yesterday we met at um, in the parking lot with their big rig. They're going down south to Georgia, North Carolina, Virginia, Tennessee. And I said, well, you're going to love it because people are so friendly. You can't find people better than Southern people in this country. So I said, you, nobody talks to you up here. You're gonna love it down there. So maybe it was just a bad morning at Walmart. Anyway, things are different all over. <laughs> 